Hello my peers and my fellow queers. My name is Rose, my pronouns are she, they, and I hope you enjoy the video. Um, so, I did these bee paints a little over a month ago, and when doing so, I just spun a wheel, and that shows what I draw, but that footage may or may not have been corrupted. Thankfully, the actual speed paints themselves were saved, just not the, like, spinning of that fancy Wheel of Fortune style, uh, wheel. <laughs> uh, so, so just for some context, I drew the Ender Dragon and Ender Might. There were gonna be three things I drew, but, like, the Ender Dragon I kinda got ambitious on, and so I just scrapped the third and put it back on the list, so, uh, yeah. It was the husk, by the way. Uh, it also wouldn't fit with the end theme that I had going on, sort of. So yeah, I think I might not use the wheel and just do what I want from now on. <laughs> Anyways, this was just so there'd be a little more context and it goes straight into me rambling about why I chose to do this and that on the different aspects of these designs. Yeah, um, sorry this is kind of a weird intro. Let's get into the speed paints and I hope you enjoy. So first up, we got this little shit, and let me tell you, um, he took fucking forever. What I decided to do was take a lot of imagery from actual mites and actual spiders, and incorporate that with the simple design of the Endermite, which is just two, three cubes that are purple with a red dot. And how I imagined is, because when they go after you, they kind of like wiggle, and like it, since they're shorter than silverfish, I just like to imagine the little blobs that wiggle around. And then just to add a creepiness factor, I uh, gave them these little claws. Because I kind of like to imagine that they are a parasite to Endermen, which is why the Endermen attack them. Uh, why they spawn from Ender Pearls that are dropped by Endermen. So when the Endermen die, they drop the eggs. But that also explains why not every Enderman drops Ender Pearl when you kill it. Not all of them may have the parasite on them. It, it was just a cool thought experiment that I really liked. And so I kind of went with it with the design. I also got a bit ambitious and decided I wanted to try a new rendering style. Normally I use relatively thin lines that are very clean and precise. And I decided I wanted to try some lineless art. I've been watching a lot of Jesse Jack Draw. I believe that's how you say his channel name. I am so sorry if I mispronounced that. He did these Pokemon fusions that were so fucking cool. I kind of wanted to do the best of my ability to emulate that style. Um, he also has a better recording software. I don't know how to record it. Where's the full thing instead of this zooming in and out? So sorry if that gives anyone, like, nausea of any sort. But yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out in the end. Towards the beginning, I was not so confident with my shadows, but a lot of blur tool, a lot of smudging later, and I am really proud of this piece. I'm gonna shut up and let you just enjoy the rest of the speed paint.
Anyways, there you have him, the little boy himself. Uh, I took away the orange background just for this video. I did that just so it could pop more when I was showing it to some people because I'm really proud of this piece and how it turned out. I feel like the shading is just right. I added a little texture. Looks really nice. The, the color I picked for the eye happened completely by accident. I was like messing with mask layers and shit and like I got rid of one and that was the color that was underneath it apparently and like I really like it. It gives, it's roughly, it's, it's actually almost the exact same color. But if you'd like me to render more pieces like this, it takes a little extra time, but honestly I feel it is worth it. Anyways, let's get on to the big bad boss of the end, Jean herself, the Ender Dragon. Yeah, but you didn't know the Ender Dragon's name was Jean. <laughs> So this one, I I really wanted something that was just kind of different. Because whenever you look up Ender Dragon artwork, it is one of three things. It is either the Ender Dragon just kind of standing in the middle of the end with no real context, some sort of player character stand-in, normally a Steve, that is fighting it, or uh, a, a lot of furry stuff. I understand fluffy dragons in the furry community, but why the ender dragon specifically? I'm not judging, I'm just curious. <laughs> Anyways, this I wanted to look really nice, so I kind of stayed within my comfort zone. I definitely wasn't feeling confident during the sketch, especially with that head. The head was such an awkward shape to get, it took so much trial and error, looking at different dragon head references. I think it definitely looked better after I thinned out the jaw, but I definitely still kind of feel that aspect if I could do better. But the other parts of the body, like the wings, the legs, I am really proud of the legs. Fun fact, I used a cat as the reference for the legs, because like, cat legs give off dragon energy. Changed my fucking mind. <laughs> And with this, you can see I I did kind of use a looser style. I didn't use the stabilizer pen as much. I kind of freehanded it more often, which I feel gave it a lot more of a sketchy look. And like, I know some, that's kind of a subjective thing. If people think a sketchy look makes it feel, if a sketchy look makes it look bad, but I personally don't think that. I think it makes it look more loose and kind of natural in its movements rather than stiff and robotic, which I feel a lot of my pieces tend to have. And I wanted this to have energy of power behind it. She's just a dragon minding her business, but she is also a very powerful being you don't want to mess with. I also struggled with the tail a lot. That shape was so hard to get, whether I was freehanding it or using the stabilizer. coloring I had so much fun doing. I do struggle with darker colors a lot. That's even unrelated to my color blindness. Dark colors are very hard for me to grasp. There was also this weird effect. It was in XYZ uh, image rendering or something instead of RGB. So I messed around with that for a while. I eventually fixed it. But yeah, this piece took so long. And the shading, the shading was so fun. I basically just did a lot of rim lighting with a few added effects here and there. The reason I did that was because, obviously, if you've been paying attention to the little scenery you've shown so far, she is on the obsidian towers. And so towards the end of the piece, I put an end crystal behind her and then a space background that I put a lot of other colors besides purple. And I feel that not only made the lighting make a lot more sense, kind of bring a little more life to the piece. Out of recording, after getting some advice from some fellow artists, I did end up like darkening the shading a bit and exaggerating the white rim lighting just to make it pop a little more and make it a little, a little more realistic, as, as realistic as this semi-cartoony style has. And I feel it definitely helped with the final version. Anyways, I will just stay quiet and let you enjoy the rest of the speed paint. If you would like to skip to the end of the video, where I just talk about my experiences doing both these pieces, then yeah, you, you know what to do. You're smart.
And there's the lovely lady herself, Jean the Dragon. I am referring to her as nothing else from now on. <laughs> This was so much fun to make, and definitely one of the pieces I'm most proud of. I <laughs> I even used it as my Twitter uh, banner or background, whatever the fuck it's called. By the way, I have a Twitter now. Um, Go check it out. This is a threat. <laughs> yeah, I've been talking for too long. I hope you guys enjoyed. We're almost to 400 subscribers, and it's such a huge milestone. I know most of you are here when I just posted TikTok content. I, I definitely want to take the channel away from that. But I also know a lot of people who watch that are returning viewers, so they are still going to be up for your enjoyment. But I hope you will watch some of the new stuff too, because I appreciate it. Comment down below what mob you'd like to see me draw more. If you'd like to see more art content, I don't want it to be the main thing on this channel. I want that to be most- I want it to be mostly gaming, a Reddit video every week or so, then art content sprinkled in. Thank you for coming along, I really appreciate everyone who watches this video whether it be for the first minute or the whole i don't actually know how long this video is yet but as always i appreciate your existence please keep on existing and i hope you have a good existence bye i'm gonna hug the microphone because we all need one